Today in the news, we got Crimes Against Gamers, an egg, and face scanning children. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with criminals. That's right, it seems like in 2021, we've seen a lot of crime related to gaming tech. There was that story back in April this year where 300 crypto mining GPUs from Nvidia were smuggled on a boat. Thankfully, they were unsuccessful and the law prevailed. Another story was about a shipment of MSI 3090s that were just stolen. And also people on Amazon getting air fryers in the mail instead of their PS5. I can't make this up. And now we got two other stories. HKEPC reported that a CPU smuggler tried to, well, smuggle 256 Intel CPUs. Essentially, the driver was crossing customs and they thought that the driver looked a little bit nervous. So they requested a secondary inspection and they found those CPUs. And I shit you not, they found them strapped to the man's chest and legs. You don't believe me? Here's a photo. The CPUs were mostly 10th generation 10700s and 10900Ks. Oh, and they also hid 50 more CPUs in the truck too. It's pretty crazy the length at which thieves are willing to go, yet still make it super obvious that, you know, they don't know what they're doing. They should have just stuffed them into the tires. You know, they strapped them on the rim and they placed a tire over it, inflate it, and boom, it would cost what, $40 a tire maybe? If you're gonna smuggle, do it right. Another story came from Ukraine, where the Ukraine Security Service discovered a freaking underground mining operation. Oh, mining and underground, oh, I just figured that out. While the operation did have the usual mining equipment, like 50 CPUs and about 500 GPUs, the most interesting part was that there were 3,800 PS4s, first gen PS4s. Now we've seen pretty crazy ways of mining, but it was mostly for fun. There was one guy who successfully mined on a Game Boy and another did that on a Commodore. But these people aren't in it for the actual coin. It wasn't realistic. PS4s though, I mean, technically it's not bad. It probably will give you a couple of mega hashes, but it would be extremely inefficient. Which is why that mining farm was illegally tapping into the power grid and was stealing something like $250,000 worth of electricity per month. Anyways, I'll keep tabs on criminal activity from now on because that's pretty hilarious. Next up, we got eggs. Have you always wanted to feel like you were in one? I mean, if it's good enough for snakes and poultry, it has to be good enough for us, right? Introducing the Cooler Master's new gaming station. It's called the CMIX EggPod Orb X. Yes, I added the EggPod myself. Now, they did a showcase, a sort of prototype of that as a proof of concept back in Computex of 2019, but I never thought that they would actually release this. Unfortunately, there is no price info just yet. What we do have though, is the price of their Cooler Master Motion 1. It's a chair with a D-Box in it, or under it. D-Box is basically what you would find in a couple of AMC theaters when your seat rumbles and moves to the movie. So they're taking that, or at least a version of that that would fit under a gaming chair, and well, Cooler Master is releasing it early next year. The price? Well, they're gonna sell it for between $2,000 and $2,300. Yikes. They also had a ton to show off at their Cooler Master Summer Summit. There's new coolers, which we'll probably review over on the Hardware Connects channel, new colors for the amazing NR200P, new peripherals, which I hope to test out because I love wireless peripherals, and one streaming apparatus that I kind of want. It's called the Stream Engine, and it's basically an audio video streaming mixer. I really didn't expect something like that coming from Cooler Master. It's pretty cool. Then we got Tencent in the news with a face tracking gaming curfew. Weird sentence, but yeah, that's a thing. I remember the good old days, you know, when my mom would tell me to go to sleep, but I would just, you know, mute the TV and keep playing. But anyways, in China, video game addiction is a big problem. So much so that uh, a child playing a video game between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. or playing more than 90 minutes on a weekday is illegal. They're gonna arrest your child. 
And last month, they implemented a system where all players needed to log in with their Chinese ID, which includes their age. To circumvent that though, kids would just play on their parents' account. Well now, Tencent wants to scan the player's face after hours to make sure that no children are playing illegally which is a weird sentence too. This technology was implemented last week on some 60 plus mobile games. Given that video game addiction is an actual problem in China, what do you guys think about this uh, face tracking? I mean, there's a lot of privacy issues here when <laughs> I'm talking about China, I'm kidding. Anyways guys, that's pretty much it for the catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop me a like if you liked the video, a comment if you wanna talk about today's stories. As usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. It's currently 6.30 a.m. and I haven't slept since last night? Yeah, that makes sense. You could take me anywhere you'd rather go Till the day is over, I just wanna know